We put out uh, Half Man, Half Woman in 2010, and on that record there was a song called Take Pity on the Beast. And on Take Pity on the Beast, uh, there, were, uh, there were some words that I borrowed from the Haggadah, which is a little prayer book that the Jews read over the Passover um, in a service called the Seder. And they're very, they're very beautiful words, you know. It's a kind of, it's a, it's basically, uh, it's basically a rewriting of the, of the second chapter of the Old Testament, Exodus, and the Jews being taken out of slavery in Egypt by Moses. And uh, but it's also discussion upon discussion between rabbis over many um, um, hundreds and thousands of years. Uh, of the meanings and the, the complexity the words, and the yeah. layer of all of those words and, and all of the and the actions and why you know he brought down that many plagues and if he brought down this many plagues here you know there's, it gets into mathematics you know it's it's fantastic stuff and and every year we read this and uh, and the older I get the more meaningful it becomes for me and not in not in a not in a, a, not religious, in a religious way. But in a but in a soulful way, I suppose, you know, in a poetic way. And did one song lead to the other? Because it's it, it's it's it isn't just a collection of songs. There, there's a theme, there's a thought that runs through it. Yeah, um, we've talked about it as a song cycle, and uh, it's it's not quite as as clear cut. As that we did, we did actually write other songs for this record. So there were there were other songs in the mix, and then we we jettisoned them in order to make what we had clearer. Uh, I do think it all goes together, but it doesn't go together in a narrative sense. It goes together in in a mood. Know, yeah, mood. I was going to say in a spiritual sense in some way. Yeah, but I mean, we it, have really tried to create a, a journey. Of, of mood of spirit and, uh, and through all of these tracks so that people can you know, understand I guess what we're getting at by the time they get to the end and it starts again yes. there is a there's a meaning that becomes clear I've, I've been accused of reading too much into things all the time did something happen within the family to to encourage you in, in this direction yeah, absolutely. Well, plenty, plenty of life events happened. Plenty of tragic life events happened. I, I think uh, difficult to avoid tragedy over the course of a life. If you live long enough, tragic things happen to everybody. And uh, it seemed that it was our turn for, to be struck by tragedy. And um, numbers of, of deaths occurred. And I think this record is also a response to those deaths. And they were also untimely deaths. They were deaths of people who, who took their own lives. And it's also an, to try and get an understanding of that. So did, does writing songs help? It always helps. Uh, you know, the, the, the thing about writing songs is that it really takes up all of your brain space. <laughs> And so you kind of chase everything else out, and it's uh, it does it does um, when it's done right and well, it's a cathartic process. Music's great, you know, it is. It's part of what we all are. You know, we can't difficult to understand why it's part of what we are, but it is. And you know, people are strangely moved by music. <laughs> 